welcome to The Bakerist, the vegan baking activist. Today is our Valentine's Day show. We are doing a sugar cookie recipe that is a cheat. Not that you should cheat on Valentine's Day. I do not recommend that on Valentine's Day or any other day. This one is not one that you have to put the dough in the fridge, wait an hour, blah, 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 blah. We're gonna roll it out and we're gonna make it look like a heart. And then we're gonna write dirty words on it when it's done. Okay? I actually found this recipe the first time because my mom gave it to me because she also is a cheater. All right, two and three quarters cup of flour. I doubt this will get me a date. All right, teaspoon of baking soda. Half of powder. Bam! One cup of butter. You want the butter to be room temperature. I've done this before where I've actually melted the butter in a microwave and that's maybe a little too soft. One egg replacer. I think every episode I should try to figure out how to put the word coagulate in just because I like to say it. So egg replacer coagulates. One and a half cups of sugar. See, this would have been the better choice to put on my head. I mean, oh, Jesus, that was not a good choice. <laughs> Jesus. That was a really bad choice on my part. Don't do this at home, children. Woo, I was going to go out tonight, and I wasn't going to shower again today before going out, but, well, but the ladies might like a flowery, sugary mixture. It'd take one special lady to put up with this shit. Woo! So, Valentine's Day, right? My Valentine, whoever might step up to the plate for that job, should like sponsor me a pig at Farm Sanctuary. Because I don't need stuff, but pigs need hay. And then we could go visit the pig that we adopt, and then the pig could be our ring bearer at our wedding. See? That, that'll be our three dates. We go on a date on Valentine's Day, sponsor me a pig. Date number two, we go meet the pig. Date number three, we will get married and the pig will be in the wedding. That's so lesbian of us. So this cookie is about ready. We've got some lovely, lovely cookiness dough going on here. So we're gonna roll it out next. Roll out, roll out. Let's make us some heart-shaped cookies, bitches. And hoes and other people. It gets a little crumbly in the rollout process, but it's all good. Make some hearts. And then I use, I like the metal spatula is much better than the plastic ones because the plastic ones are way thicker. This metal one's really thin, so I can literally like just get up under the heart and stick it on the tray. Oh, it broke. It's a broken heart. It actually felt really good to attack that heart. Ooh, I know a good Valentine's Day song. When I think about you, I touch myself. Oh, I don't want anybody else. When I think about you, I touch myself. Oh! I think the dog that lives upstairs touches himself too. <laughs> He's barked when I started singing. What does that mean about my singing dog? So let's bake these bitches. Let's make them look good. Y'all ready for that? Bam! All right, so we're gonna bake them, cool them, frost them, write dirty messages on them. What have we really got to do today? Let's start by throwing that love, love, love alarm clock away Stretch into the wind, let time drizzle like the rain And tomorrow we'll let our wake up call Be the sun, be the sun Cause someday, some fine day We will all say Now we're going to start the frosting process This is corn syrup, powdered sugar, water Look it up online, you'll figure it out. We don't need to have a, a little lesson about that. I know you're all smart people. If you can click on play on this YouTube video, I'm pretty sure you can figure this out. So let's do this. I like to put my cookies straight in there. Then use I use a spoon and I kind of spread that frosting out. It's a runny kind of frosting and so it'll, it'll get to the edges. I kind of do the edges with my spoon here to make sure it goes all the way. Like I just kind of scrape. You're gonna add a little powdered sugar and some food coloring. Make sure your food coloring is vegan. I like to go around the edges. Kind of... Makes it look so pretty. Sorry, I have to concentrate. What should we write on this? Hmm. You know there's a million things in my head. I'm just trying to think the right one. I got it. It'll be a surprise. Hold on camera. The thing about sugar cookies is they don't have spell check. Are you ready to see what it says? 
I mean, who doesn't want to get this cookie? You can be a little more nice. And if you just want to get what you want, I mean, I'm all about asking for exactly what you want. I think it's really important. What did we learn today? We learned we can make great cookies for ourselves, for people that we love. If you want to get me a present, I don't want stuff. I want us to sponsor animals at a farm sanctuary. What else did we learn? I don't know if we learned very much today. Well, shit. Might as well fucking eat a cookie. It says to eat me. I'm glad I did. Thanks for showing up. Show up again. Share this with your friends on every multimedia. We're the underscore bakerist on Twitter. We're the bakerist on Facebook. We're the bakerist.net. I love you if you do. All right, I'll see you next time. I promise we'll make something great. Peace out. Bye.